welcome you to EclipseSurveillance.com. Hello, I'm going to go over how to get started on the 701 client software. So first thing, uh, once you get the server software online with the readers, then you can go ahead and follow through with the client software. Login is the same as the server, which is supervisor, supervisor. All right. So once you're in here, uh, you're first presented with the transaction record of today. And up top here, you see the transaction record uh, with the date following it, 2015, uh, June 2nd. All right. Uh, now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the download button make sure you have the reader they have online or the few readers you have online selected here these are the node addresses in this case I only have one reader connected so I have number one check marked and I would now hit the clock button which will send the computer's time to the reader so it's synchronized all right uh, what I would do next here is go to the user edit screen and you can start adding your users here uh, the user number field just start at number one and on the card ID field if you're using a prox card or a key fob you can put in the card ID number in here basically it's asking for the site code and the card code so all the prox cards and the key fobs they have that written on them over here on the right to that you select the access mode of the user so you have these three options here which is card only card or pin and the card and pin option all right you got your zone option which is to select a time zone and basically a time zone is to allow access between the times that you had selected within that time zone your level this is the access level of the user basically uh, just keep it to zero to make things easier for you uh, the door group is to select what door groups uh, the user would be allowed to use basic same thing as the time zone so uh, you will select certain doors to be part of a group and then you go to the user and apply that group number to the user and then here you can put the name of the user and also a pin code uh, basically after that is more of reference material of the user uh, it's not needed to uh, to enable the user to work uh, once you're done with doing all this you can hit the save button and you can download the user to the reader by clicking the green arrow all right uh, if you want to put names on your doors go to the button a at the top and just hit the add door button here you just select the number of the reader which is a note id so here we have reader one and we'll just name your front door All right, and uh, basically to go over the time zone option here, you go to button B. Here you can select the time zone you want to create. So we can start at the time zone one, for example. And here you put the starting and end time that you want the basically this time zone uh, to have. So we could start with you know, say eight in the morning till five in the afternoon. Uh, keep in mind that this is a military time so make sure you're you know how to put that there and uh, you want to make sure your level is on zero like how I mentioned earlier with the user and you want your link to always have end selected so that it's enabled you want to hit save and then exit here to send it you want to go to the download button that we were at earlier and just hit time zone and that will send your time zones to the readers now to the door groups once you have your door names in place then you could go and create door groups go to the button 9 and here is your door name 
Uh, you could create pretty much uh, 255 door groups here. Select the door group number, and then, for example, you have more doors, you can check mark. You know, they'll be listed here, so you can check mark more doors. In this case, since I only have one door, I only have one listed here. Alright, so you just check it there. Hit save. If you want to send it to the reader, you got to go back to the download button and hit door groups. And that will send the door group to the reader. Now, it, let's say you want to look at past transactions. You can go to button number three. And when that opens, you're going to see many files here. Each file has the date in it with the name. So just select that date that you're looking for and you're get taken to it. And you can see up here by the tab, the transaction record 2015-05-26, that's the date I had selected. All right. Uh, basically, uh, that concludes a quick guide on the 7-1 client. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you'll subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find the latest information on our security products, demos, and our tutorials.